Hello everyone, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. We're on Lesson 9. Lesson 9 is the beginning of the United States. So basically, we're going to like listen to a story or learn a story in this lesson. In this lesson, you will discover the beginning of the U.S. and its first president. So we'll kind of learn about a story in this uh, lesson about how did America become a country and about its first president, someone who really helped America become an independent country. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. First of all, we have the word rule. To rule means to have the power to control. Who is this person? Looks like a very strange type of person, but anyway, this person looks like a king, right? A king or a queen rules the country. They control the country. They have the power to control the country. So a king or queen rules the country. A colony is a place that is ruled by a more powerful country. This is kind of a strange picture, right? It's like I'm going to eat the world. But imagine if a king or queen is very powerful and they can put their power onto another country and rule that country. That would be a colony, a place that is ruled by a more powerful country. So if one country is very powerful and they take over another country, they rule it. They control that country that would, and they turn it that country into a colony. Okay. Independence. Independence is freedom from others' control. So if you want independence, you want to be free from somebody else's control. Uh, it's very interesting because everybody learns how to be independent. As you grow older, you, become, you learn how to be free from your parents' control. Of course, you shouldn't be free from your parents' control right away. Your parents help you, right? You need your parents' control. They will guide you and teach you. But as you get older, you become independent. Independent, right? You get your independence when you become an adult. And that means that you are free now from your parents' control. But you, you know, of course your parents love you and they're, they're not trying to control you. Uh, they're just trying to do the best thing for you. But in other situations, other people might try to control other people and they don't, they're not helping those people. They just want to uh, use them to get more things or more, uh, they, they want to get something, for example, money or work for free. And so they're controlling other people. Of course, those people, they want to become independent and they want to have control over their own lives. So independence is freedom from others' control. Now a declaration, if you make a declaration, you make a declaration. When you make a declaration, a declaration is something that is officially told to other people. When you stand up in a formal situation and you announce something, or you can even write something, that can be a declaration too. It's when you officially tell other people some information. Maybe your opinion or what you want to do. That is a declaration. You are declaring what your intentions are, what you want to do. Okay, war. War is a long period of fighting, a long period of fighting. Wars last for a long time. A long period of fighting between two countries. Uh, Wars are usually fought between two countries, but of course when a country fights against itself, that's called a civil war. But wars are usually caught, uh, fought between two different countries. And of course these would be wars. And they're very terrible things, as you can imagine. Okay, well if we talk about war, we should talk about soldiers, right? A soldier is a person who belongs to an army. An army is what fights in a war. Each country has their own armies and these armies fight against each other in battles and that's part of a longer period that is the war. But of course the soldiers are the people who do the fighting. A battle, I just mentioned that word, a battle is a fight, one fight. A fight means one fight during a war. A war is a long period of time. So during the war, there are many battles. There are many separate fights or individual fights. So each fight 
during a long time are called battles. It's very interesting. Some people may say, uh, they won the battle. They won the battle, but they didn't win the war, right? They won the battle, but they didn't win the war. So, you know, armies can win a battle, but it doesn't mean that they're going to win the war. Because a war is a series of battles. One army might win a battle, but in the end, that country might lose the war. So they have to win all of the battles. If they win all of the battles, then they win the war. But, you know, they win some and they lose some. So you may have won the battle, but you didn't win the war. Or you may have lost the battle, but you didn't lose the war. And if somebody says you lost the battle, but you didn't lose the war, that means keep trying. Maybe you had a failure, but keep trying, keep fighting. It, it may be not a war, maybe you're struggling to do something else. You may lose a battle, but don't give up. You haven't lost the war, so keep fighting. Okay, now we have our chart here, the beginning of the United States. This is kind of our story. This is the story we're talking about. We're talking about what happened first, next, and next. The beginning of the United States. What happened first? On July 4th, 1776, July 4th, 1776, the 13 colonies agreed on the Declaration of Independence. The 13 colonies, we talked about that word. These were British colonies. Britain controlled these areas in America. Um, and they, they were colonies. They sent money and they would send people to America for fighting in wars. But these colonies wanted to be independent. So they made a declaration. They declared that they want to be independent, that they are now independent. They don't want Britain to rule over them anymore. What happened? Well, Britain didn't like that, right? Britain did, wanted to keep control of the American colonies. So Britain and America went to war. The Americans fought a war with England to get their freedom. So they fought a long war over a long period of time. And it was a very difficult war. There were many times that Americans uh, almost lost the war and it was just luck and uh, also a uh, very strong effort by some very important people that won the war. So uh, not only was it, you know, lucky, but it was also because of some people who really sacrificed and worked hard in order to win the war. But it almost went the other way. England almost won that war. Okay, so anyway, Americans fought a war with England to get freedom. Americans won the war, finally, after uh, a few uh, very important victories after a few very important battles, they won the war. The 13 colonies became the 13 states of America. They became the original 13 states of America. And as America got bigger and bigger and expanded, they added more states. So now there are 50 states of America. So this is kind of a short story of the beginning, how the United States began. We have a little footnote here, right, on uh, July 4th. On every July 4th, Americans celebrate their independence. It is Independence Day. So we remember July 4th as Independence Day, and Americans celebrate that every year with festival festivities, with uh, picnics, barbecues, and also fireworks at night. If you're in America on July 4th, in many big towns, of course in big cities, many towns, even some smaller uh, villages, they will have a fireworks display and you can see many fireworks celebrating the Independence Day. Okay, let's take a look at the matching. Uh, let's match the words with their definitions. Our words are rule, rule, colony, colony, independence, independence, declaration, declaration, war, that's easy, soldier, soldier. Okay, what are the definitions of these words? Let's look. Number one, to have the power to control. Somebody has the power to control something. What do we call that? That is to rule. They are ruling. Number two, freedom from others control so if you want freedom from somebody's rule you want to get away from somebody's rule you are 
looking for what? You're trying to get what? You are trying to get independence. You want to get independence. You want freedom from somebody else's control. Number three, a person who belongs to an army. So a person who is part of an army. There are many people that make up an army and they fight in the battles during a war. Who are they? They are, of course, soldiers. A soldier is a person who belongs to an army. Okay, number four, something that is officially, officially told to people. You want to stand up and you want to declare something. Or you can write it down in the letter and you're declaring your intentions, what you want. What are you doing? You are making a declaration. You're making a declaration. Okay, number five, a place that is ruled by a more powerful country. So one country is very powerful and it goes out and it rules another place that's not inside that country. What do we call that other place? We call that other place a colony. Many European countries had colonies a long time ago. They would rule places in Africa or in the Americas, North America and South America, and also in Asia. Okay, six, a long period of fighting between two countries. A long period of fighting between two countries, and there are many battles fought during this uh, event. Of course, it is called a war. A war is a long period of fighting, and many battles are fought during a war. Okay, let's take a look at our chart here. Now, we're talking about the beginning of the United States, and as I mentioned before, America almost lost the war. There were a few lucky uh, situations where the weather uh, were, was in favor of the Americans, and the weather helped the Americans win some battles or escape from some certain defeats, but it was also not just luck, it was the strong determination and hard work and sacrifice by some very important people. It's actually not a lot of people fought in the uh, American War of Revolution. There weren't that many people. So some people were very important. Uh, the ones who were the leaders, they were very important. George Washington was one of those leaders. He led many battles against England. George Washington was a soldier and he grew up, he had a long career as a soldier before the American Independence War, uh, the American Revolution. He led many battles against England. He helped the colonies win the war against England. His decisions and his determination and his efforts to try to keep his soldiers from leaving his army because it was a very difficult war and some winters were very cold. Um, he helped uh, the colonies, of course, win the war against England. He was a very uh, smart person. He was a very good general. George Washington became the first president. After the war, he became the first president of the United States of America. He was very well respected because of his efforts and his determination and his sacrifice that people elected him to become the first president. It's funny because the story says that he didn't really want to be president, but the people respected him so much and they liked him so much that they elected him as the president. So he accepted, but he wasn't very enthusiastic about it, but he became president because he was a man who served his country. Okay. Look at the picture and fill in the blank to complete the sentence. In this picture, we can see many people gathering around. This is uh, the Congress of Philadelphia, right? This is when, on July 4th, 1776, the 13 colonies, so these men are representatives from the 13 colonies, they met and they agreed on what? This is a type of letter that they sent to King George in England. It was a declaration. A declaration of what? It was a declaration of independence. And this is what started the war with England because King George said, no, he got the declaration of independence. He's like, no, you can't break away. Uh, we're going to have a war about it. And America won the war. Okay, let's take a look at our true false questions. Number one. A battle is a person who belongs to an army. Does that sound right to you? A battle is a person? A battle is not a person. A battle is a fight. So this is wrong. This is false. How do we change it? We need to change battle to another word that we learned. A what is a person who belongs to an army? A soldier. A oops, soldier. 
Oops, my pen. A soldier is a person who belongs to an army. That's a soldier, not a battle. Next one, number two. George Washington led many battles against America. So what this sentence says is that George Washington was against America. He fought against America. This sentence makes it seem like George Washington was on the side of England or Britain against America. Is that true? Absolutely not. That's false. George Washington wasn't against America. He was for America. So this sentence is false. George Washington led many battles for America. We'd have to change that. Now it's true, but we have to change it so it's false. Okay, number three. A colony is a place that is ruled by a more powerful country. Is that true? Does that sound right? That does sound right. It is true. So a colony is a place, a more co uh, powerful country takes that place and rules it. It's not inside that country. They went out and they took that land or they took that region and that is their colony. Okay, well that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's take a short break. We'll come back and take a look at the reading. Don't go away. Okay, welcome back to the reading section. We're going to go over the reading passage now, and this is kind of telling a, sm a short story. How did America become an independent country? Let's take a look here. Of course, we're going to start off with the first event and go in the order, like telling a story. First, next, next. We're starting off with in the early 18th century. In the early 18th century, Americans were ruled by the King of England. It's interesting, when you look at the early 18th century, what does that mean? That means the early 1700s, right? Don't get confused. Sometimes it's confusing. You see 18th century, we think 1800s. But 18th century actually means 1700s, right? And early means 1700 to 1750, right? Those early 1700s. In the early 1700s, or 18th century, Americans were ruled by the King of England. The King of England had control over the American colonies because they were founded by England. Uh, British ships went there and they had the power uh, with the Navy and most British citizens went to America and settled there. So they were still British citizens. They said allegiance or they had allegiance to their king back in England, even though that was very far away. So this means that America was a colony of England. The American people wanted freedom from England. Okay, so for a long time, America was a colony of England, but people were not happy with uh, the rule of the king partly because it was so far away and the king wanted a lot of taxes. So the American people wanted freedom from England. They wanted independence from England. So on July 4th, 1776, in the later part of the 18th century, the Americans had enough, right? They wanted to declare their independence. So on July 4th, 1776, the American people signed the Declaration of Independence. The representatives from the 13 colonies, each one of them signed the Declaration of Independence. But England did not want the American colonies to be independent. So America had a war with England to fight for their independence. So this is telling the story. Basically, uh, the, the representatives from the 13 colonies got together, they signed the Declaration of Independence. England did not want, they didn't want the American colonies to be independent. Why not? Because if the American colonies were independent, Britain or King George would lose a lot of money. They wouldn't send taxes anymore to England. So of course, England didn't want to lose all that money and all those resources. So they had a war over this. America had a war with England. Americans wanted to be independent. They wanted their own country. So soldiers fought many battles, soldiers on both sides. English soldiers and American soldiers fought against each other. 
By the way, also German soldiers and French soldiers were also involved in the war. That's another story. Soldiers fought many battles. George Washington was a famous leader who helped America in the war. In the end, the American colonies won the war and became the United States. So, soldiers fought many battles during the long period of the war. George Washington was a famous leader. He was famous before the war. Uh, he was a soldier for a very long time. And when the war happened, he was on the American side and he was a general. He was a famous leader and of course he helped America a lot in the war. Uh, if, if it wasn't for George Washington, probably America would have lost the war. In the end, the American colonies won the war, finally, at the end of a long war, and they became the United States, the 13 original states of the United States. So every year on July 4th, because remember, July 4th is the date that the representatives signed the Declaration of Independence. Every year on July 4th, people in America remember the war and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. So, it's interesting, July 4th wasn't the date that America won its independence, it was the date that America said that they wanted to be independent. So that's an important point to remember. July 4th isn't the date that America got its independence, they hadn't won the war, they hadn't even started the war at that time, but that was when they declared they want independence. And so that date is the date that people remember and the date that they celebrate. Okay, so we have a reading skill. We're talking about sequence for a skill. Sequence means in time order. What's first, second, third, fourth, and so on. In sequence. So what we can see here is we can see three events that happened in sequence. This happened first, this happened second, this was the third or last thing that happened. We need to fill in the blanks in our story these are the words we use to fill in the blanks. Independence, the United States, George Washington, and freedom. Let's fill in the blanks with these words. First, Americans wanted beep from England. What do people want from another place? They, if they want to be free from control, they want what? They want their independence from another thing. So Americans, Americans wanted freedom from England. This man wanted fr freedom from his company. For example, you get a person gets freedom from another person or a country or organization. Americans signed the declaration of what? They wanted to be uh, free from control. They wanted to be independent, right? So they signed the declaration of independence. Then what happened? America had a war with England as a result of this. Who was a famous leader in the war? Who was a famous leader? Well, we can see down here, this name right here, George Washington was a famous leader in the war. And then in the, in the end, at the end of the story, America won the war and became what? What did America become? There were 13 colonies. Those colonies became states. So America became the United States. Those 13 colonies didn't become different countries, they become united into one country, so they became states. Okay, let's take a look at the reading comprehension questions. Number one, America was once a beep of England. Remember, England had many regions around the world that they controlled, that they ruled. Those were what? They were, of course, called leader, colony, or ruler. They were called colonies. America was one colony of England. England had many colonies all around the world. Uh, so not leader, not ruler, but colony. Okay, number two. George Washington was a what? Was George Washington a famous king? Was he a king of a country? No, he wasn't a king. George Washington was a famous Englishman? Or he was an Englishman? Uh, well, before the war, he was an Englishman, but more important, during the war, he became an American. That's not really an appropriate uh, answer. George Washington was a what? A famous leader? Yeah, he was a famous leader during the war. He helped lead the Americans uh, to victory over the English. 
And that's interesting too, number B, because if you think about it, all Americans were English men or English women before the war, but after the war they became Americans. But George Washington was a famous leader, that's a more appropriate answer. Okay, in America's war with England, during the war with England, A, England became a colony of America, B, George Washington was a king, C, soldiers fought many battles. Which answer sounds correct? Let's look at A. Um, America's war with England, England became a colony of America? So America won the war and then took over England and ruled England from America? No, that didn't happen. Uh, America was not that strong. They, all, they just barely won the war by themselves. So that's not true. B, George Washington was a king. No, we already saw that. George Washington was not a king. C, soldiers fought many battles. Well, yeah, sure, and that happens in all wars, right? In any war, not just America's war with England, soldiers fought many battles. In all wars, soldiers fight many battles. So the answer is C. Number four, in the early 18th century, before 1776, remember 18th century is the 1700s, 1776 is not early, it's late, right? So in the early 18th century, before 1776, Americans what? A, signed the Declaration of Independence, B, were ruled by the King of England, C, fought England in a long war. Which one is true? A, signed the Declaration of Independence? No, because it says before 1776, in the early 18th century. That's not true. They signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776, not before. Okay, B, were ruled by the King of England. Well, that's true, isn't it? Because in the early 1700s, America was ruled by the King of England. C, fought England in a long war? No, there wasn't a long war bef with England before that. Okay, now we've come to our of chart again, and we're kind of using this as a summary to tell the story of the beginning of the United States. So we see three different pictures showing the different events in order, first, second, and last, in telling the story of how America became independent. It's the beginning of the United States. Over here we can see this first picture. We see all these men here. They are representing the 13 colonies of America, colonies that were ruled by England. Now they didn't like to be ruled by England. They wanted to be free from that rule. So on July 4th, 1776, the 13 colonies agreed on the Declaration of Independence. They declared their desire to be independence to King George, the British King. So that's why on every July 4th, Americans celebrate their independence on Independence Day. They call it Independence Day. So that's what happened first. After that, King George didn't like it, right? He said, no, you can't be independent. So Americans fought a war with England to get freedom. And this, of course, is a, a picture showing the war. Over here you have the Redcoats, the English soldiers, and here you have the American uh, militia uh, who are fighting against the uh, British. So there was a bloody war, a very long war, many battles were fought, many soldiers on both sides died. Finally, in the end, Americans won the war. The 13 colonies became the United States of America. The 13 colonies became states, and they became the United States of America. And that is how America began. That is the beginning of the United States. So this lesson was kind of telling a story. How did the United States become a country? What was the beginning? As we can see before, it was a colony. It was ruled by King George. Uh, they didn't like that, so they declared their independence. They had a war. George Washington was a very uh, famous leader, an American leader during the war because of his strong efforts and the efforts of the people who, who supported him and stayed with him. Americans won the war of independence and they became their own country, the United States of America. So it's kind of an interesting history lesson today. I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about that and we'll see you next time. Take care everybody.